I've been wanting to come down to the spot where I switched so many years ago. And I wore these doggone little short boots, which was a mistake, which means I gotta climb back out and change boots. So I'm gonna do that. These are better. I got them rolled down a little bit so they won't be so hot. But if you go back 100 years in my videos, through the nearly 2,000 videos I've got on YouTube, you will recognize the spot. And uh, this is where I came to swish when I first started my swishing adventures. And we found so much stuff until they went downstream and filled in all the holes with concrete. They were gonna fill this in with a giant pipe. This whole thing, this whole thing, not that whole thing. This whole thing. And then cover it up and build a building on top. Well, that never came to fruition. If vegetables were used as a reference, it would be vegetation. So all I've got left is this pile right here. Or this spot right here. I did pull a lot out right here because everything washed under. That's old concrete. So I'm going to give it a shot here momentarily. After I do a quick walk around and search. In here still some old places. But we'll see what's available. I think we're going to start here. Once I get this glove over the hand that feeds me, we're going to start right here under this. This is old concrete too, not 100 years old, but old. So maybe there'll be something new stuck around in here. What I wanted to start with is moving rocks. And once we get all these rocks moved, we'll kind of swish the stuff underneath and see what's in there. All right, I got a few moved. So we'll go ahead and start moving some stuff around since this is where the main water's flowing. The sun's right over me, which is really good with the exception of it being kind of hot. Look at that. That's a fresh marb. We shall harvest the fresh marb. I don't think it's that old, but a marb is a marb, right? So we're going to get a little deeper. I wish I had some... Uh, A deeper hole to dig so this is only going to pull up stuff that's washed up from upstream over the past few years ah, there's a hole in this glove i've got holes in all my gloves but i did bring a spare which has a smaller hole in it let's put it on this is an interesting spot because i Every now and then I look up and there'll be somebody standing above me. And they say, oh yeah, fishing. And I got my hand in water about this deep. And I'll say, yeah, I'm fishing. No, I don't say I'm fishing. I say I'm testing water quality. It feels like water. It looks like water. It's wet and it's really nice. So I'm thinking it's water. And that usually works. And you got these big rocks. Just like in your yard, the big rocks generally work their way to the top. I would love to get in a spot in here again where we found so much. Remember, we did underwater swishing and everything where it used to be a lot deeper before they filled it in. So, we're just going to Stir it up and see what comes along. Or see what's underneath here. Until it gets 100 degrees out here. It's about 6.45 in the morning and it is 80 something degrees already. And I need to get under that. I'm going to move some rocks. I moved these bricks and everything from right there. And the water started turning black. That's a really 
really good sign. It means there's still, well, it could mean that there's still some old good dirt down there that we can dig into. We need anything but a library, unless it's a, a wheat, then it's not a library. But that's what we need to really get started. That's a good hole right there. Let's get all this top layer off. Yeah, that's getting pretty deep. That's good. We can drag all this down and we'll look at it right before we leave. Because when, once it clears up, we'll be able to see in there too. Now this is a city creek, so it's going to be full of trash and metal and everything else. So, if you're fresh to my chan, don't get triggered because I'm not taking every piece of glass out of here. Or every nail. See, that's good. If it's been in there long enough to be etched together, then that is good. Because you could stay in here for days and fill up a truck with metal. I don't have days but I have a truck that I can fill up with metal. But that's the good stuff. That clay base. That means we're in good old timey dirt. And this stuff used to pop off, but it doesn't anymore because I'm down to the concrete. So far, there's no corns. Yet. I got a lot more of the pile moved. The only thing left is this right here. I can't move that because it's solid concrete, but this spot keeps going and it goes under the uh, the little rock ledge right here which is okay so we'll get a few more big ones out and hope something amazing falls out from underneath all this so far nothing this could be a nothing adventure and if it is Oh, a little foliage floating down through here. We need to turn, go that way, there you go. There you go, go populate somewhere else. Good job. I should put you on the water, but I'm not ready for that yet. Man, all it takes is one tiny hole to hurt in my glove. I need to sit down. It will be very most helpful. I'll put that marble in the man purse to enjoy later. Here we go. Can you see better too? It takes a little patience, a little under the bank digging. One thing I don't have is patience, but I'm gonna pull out a library and that one is not a zinc. That is a standard issue library, which is an okay start for me. We will take it. They lay so flat on the bottom. I've pulled many 
pocket knives out of here where people just drop them or throw them in the creek. A lot of them are broken, of course, because somebody will break a blade, you know, a long time ago and then throw it into the creek because they don't want it anymore. But, see, I don't know if I want to keep going right here because I can't tell if I can get under the bank right here, which is what needs to happen. Where this kind of stuff will fall off. See, it may not happen right here. That may be just one lonely library that we happen to get and that's it because the bottom is right there and it is concrete old concrete from moons of many ago there are rocks down there i had a hole so big right up there it looked it would be shallow now of course there's three inches of water but I was ended up to my knees I dug so deep. And this one isn't turning out so well. Here's a bottle. I wonder if that whole bottle's in there. There's a edge of a bottle. I think I'm gonna try to get this bottle out. Oh my goodness. Let me get situated. Let me get you a view of it first. So you can believe there's a bottle down there. Do you see the edge of it? This is the edge of a Coke bottle. It could be buried in the concrete. And then it can, it could just have a rock sitting on it. Oh, either way, I can't move it yet. But now that I've seen it, I need to try and get it. So you gotta switch everything from around it to get your hand on it. If I can get under that, that means my hand's under it. So far it does not appear to be broken. I don't think it's that old. Oh, that's so comfortable. Oh, wait a minute. I got a scratcher. A la crack. Right here. So now we gotta see. Oh, it is broke. Don't go on it. So it's not a whole bottle. So maybe I'll get it out. Well, we're gonna get it out in pieces. Let's start with that piece. It was an old bottle. Goodness gracious. But it was broken half already. So that's a good sign if I had something to pry that up, which I don't, so we're gonna move. Let's walk uh, down a little bit. This is where some of the past holes were. And we just started pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring. And they ruined my beautiful spot. It was so deep right here, it didn't matter if you had on boots or not. Now it is not, of course. But there are a couple of little stray holes down here that they didn't pour over. So let's go see if I can find one. Okay, there's one. There's a 95 car tag. Here's our car tag. You can see the month. So you ask yourself, do you remember? Okay, let's try right here. We'll move a few rocks and then see what's under. There's a lot of metal. Metal's good. 
good start because under the metal is usually things that are fun if you don't stick it in your fingers. I usually do that. Wow. Oh, it's getting deeper. That's wonderful news. Pull something amazing out of there, which I think we're about to do. So far, we're not. I have no problem starting a fresh haul. There's a razor blade. Those are always a lot of fun to pull out of creeks. I'm going to slide all this over because that's going to be our visual right here. Oh, it's a washer. Got ants on me. Okay, nothing yet of any importance or any beauty. There's another one of those. Could build a little house. Pick up the pieces and build a Lego house. That's what that is, ain't it, Lego? Okay, let's get in here some more serious. I need to stop and really look I need that gone. Oh, I'll just move it. A minute ago it wouldn't move. This could be a good spot, especially if that beast right there would move. I need uh, something to get the bugs off my neck. Excuse me, it may be a <laughs> it may be a cat hair on my ear. I thought it was a mosquito, but cat hair is a wonderful thing. Okay, if I can get a hold of this, then I can move it. They concreted it in. I don't see any corns or anything. This is getting the opposite of heartening. Disheartening. Hey, they want a little. I'll tell you who enjoys it when I do this are the minnows because they'll, they get a new habitat that stays deep for a while and they've got a neat little place to go and hang out. And they love it. I love it too. I can't figure out what this is. On my ear right here. I feel like something crawling on me. Yeah, I don't see any any coins, any jewelry, any anything. If I could move that, it would be a, a most beautiful adventure. But I can't. And we're to the bottom. And it turned into concrete again. Nothing. No corns. No anything. And it may be one of my bride's hairs. 
she has vibrant, luxurious, lovely locks of loveliness. Oh man, I need it. One of y'all sent me an awesome hammer. I should have brought it. It's got like a, a pick and a pull thing on one side. Not a pick and a poke, but a pick and a one thing. Oh, it was an ant. That's awesome. I got it. There's ants on all this stuff where they're trying to get across the creek and they go to the end and they realize they can't and they go back. <sighs> I can't move that either. Yeah, I need the hammer time. So there's nothing here. So let's move a hair down here at once. So one more I think that's a little snake now that's a little big spot but it doesn't take a real big spot to catch a coin that takes a lot of water to clean it out though That's how you stick stuff in your finger. Can't believe you threw that back in a creek. This entire creek is nails and needles. So just enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Oh, there's a spot. Let's check it. I can't believe you moved a rock. Probably one of the oldest things I've ever found right there. I think I've got another ant on my ear. Well, it's just not happening on this date in time. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Get these ants off my face. Let's go back down here and see this spot we switched a minute ago. Well, let's look here. Because when it really clears out, then you can really tell if you've missed anything. I'm trying to get you there, you go. Where we can both see. See if you missed anything over here. It does not appear to be. So let's head back upstream. I think I see the error of my ways. You see these black lines of dots that are just walking up through there. Somebody put my man purse right on top of it. I don't know who would do that. And I probably sat on them. So let's walk back up and look at this other spot where we started. And maybe, what is that shiny thing? I think it's just a washer, but we need to check. I can't see, I got this horrible reflection. Yeah, it's just a washer. Okay. Let's move up some more. Let's go check our last spot. Then I'll leave you all alone for the day. I need to know what, what's the best time that y'all enjoy, you know, watching videos. Is it when you come home between 5 and 5.30, 6 and 6.30, 7, 8? When is the most bestest time when you want to see a video? If you're subscribed, see how the fish love it. Look at the hole. They love it. And they'll get down there and hang out. They'll eat every piece of fresh sediment that I swished up out of there. I don't see any coins or anything that we missed though. So what's the, what do you think is the best time 
to put out a video for y'all. I'm asking y'all not to capture the world's attention, but those, you know, 2,000 to 4,000 y'all who come back and watch what works best for you. Let's peek under here. Nothing but standard issue creek wash down here. I think I'm done. I've got ants all over me. So we'll come back and do this again. My bride called and says she's hungry, so it's time for me to keep on moving. Oh, look at all the fish. I love seeing the fish. I've ran them out of the hole. They're gonna go back. Thanks for watching my videos. I picked up this jar in a recent video. And it said some of them have dates on them. This one does not appear to have anything on it. I know, I said it was done. It doesn't say anything but that. It is washed out of a bank. It, everything I read said the numbers on the bottom really don't mean anything. I don't know how you tell if it's old. I mean, it's old. There's another little one in there, but I don't know. I'm not a bottle collector, but thanks for watching my videos.